instead of doing my normal talk about a cryptid that has evidence to its name but hasn't been proven real, we're doing kind of the opposite. Uh, we're, we're talking about animals that used to be cryptids. We have two. The first one I'll be discussing is the giant squid. In 19th century Scandinavian, whalers spoke about the kraken. Well, they thought the giant squids were krakens. Giant squids were found inside the stomachs of whales. Reports of the giant squid squids attacks quickly increased, mostly because of fishers. Eventually, one day, someone returned with the carcass of a giant squid. In 1853, a professor found a carcass of a giant squid that washed up on shore. He identified it as a giant squid, making this cryptid into a real animal that inhabits our world. It isn't the biggest one. The, that crown actually belongs to the colossal squid. Final one of this video is the platypus. Before anyone clicks off wondering why a platypus was ever considered cryptid, let me explain. A platypus is a mammal that lays eggs, has the bill of a duck, tail of a beaver, the venom of a snake, and webbed feet. And that seems like a big mix and match situation. One day, somebody presented a carcass of a beaver to the zoologist named George Shaw. He thought that the bill was fake and glued on, so he tried to rip it off with his bare hands. And then, um, after an unknown amount of time, he grabbed the pair of scissors, and I'm guessing he cut it off, but I'm not so sure. Then he realized it was a real animal, and that animal, like, that, the carcass that was found, he found, can actually be seen in a museum today in Britain. I don't know where, but... Though it, those have been two animals that have uh, that were considered cryptid. There is others, but I'm not. I didn't find them everywhere else, so I'm just doing these because I saw them multiple places. So that's why I'm guessing. And that's all for today. Bye.